I have this uh, Apple iPad mini so we are going to repair this you can see the problem with this Apple is you know here the screen is broken this is actually the digitizer the digitizer is broken this is it's working you can see still the set is on but the problem with this one is as this is broken so we are going to replace this digitizer as you can see here this corner it's broken so we will replace it with a new digitizer and of course new digitizer is over here you can see these are this is the Chinese counterpart and of course this will also be the Chinese I think so we are going to replace this with this one so I'm going to show you the whole procedure how to replace it so for the replacement you need some basic tools uh, maybe a screwdriver but I have this set so I'm going to use it for the replacement so if this is the case as with me this digitizer is coming off very easily uh, but uh, maybe you know, for you it will be something uh, sometimes it is difficult so that you have to uh, produce you have to provide heat over here on the periphery so that the glue will be broken down and uh, you will be able to pick the digitizer unit from its uh, glue and uh, whatsoever it's fixed so here as you can see from here I can pick it up and the digitizer user unit is coming off and downside you can see there is a display and this is whatsoever the LED or LCD display some people are thinking that uh, the LCD display is actually the digitizer and touch screen but it is not as you can see this is this is actually the touch screen the digitizer unit and this glass so we are going to remove it but here as you can see as I lift it here is the cable so we will take care of this cable and uh, we will remove it to remove the digitizer unit from the unit we have to remove this display LCD or LED whatsoever is we have to remove it so for this purpose there are so many screws uh, are there but what I have to do is I have to remove this small uh, broken piece also so that it covered one screw over here you can see so from here we will start and we'll start removing all the screws and do it's not uh, Philips it's actually whatsoever this uh, straight blade but it will do the work so our purpose is not any fancy but we have to do the work by any means so one screw lift so as you can see from the display all screws removed now I have to lift this display lift it up by this way and now you can see it come off very easily and underneath these two cables are going so one cable is over here as you can see and the other one is of course this LCD so what I have to do is I have to remove this whole uh, what's our this aluminium plate or panel you can see uh, for this purpose the same screwdriver I have to use and remove all these screws they, these, these screws are uh, many in number 16 these screws are 16 in number so I have to remove all these screws I'm not going to show you on camera instead I will remove this plate and then I will show you after removing this shield all the screws are removed from and uh, then I have to remove it and there is another small shield or cover here you can see uh, held on uh, three screws so I'm going to remove these screws also shield to lift it up and now you can see this connector is visible over here gently I have to pry it off like this and another one also is over here for the digitizer so this is for this was for the display and the second one which is underneath here this is for the digitizer unit I have to remove this one also by this way so the display come off and now the digitizer unit would also come off like this so here is you can see uh, this uh, digitizer unit and uh, there is a small circuit uh, here 
I can see a small circuit and of course here is the soldering for this one but it's a bit difficult job it seems to be because this is whatsoever this uh, it's not so difficult but we will do it by any mean I mean to say we will remove this one uh, this older one I have to remove using some hot air or whatsoever and then I will solder the new unit which is of course here you can see so this new unit I will have to solder on its uh, proper placing like this I will have to solder it so I'm going to show you the procedure for this one so here the my, my prefer, preferred method to remove this uh, connector from is the hot air of course you can see here is my hot air and uh, here is my hot air gun, gun you can see and of course the temperature is uh, something 295 degrees celsius um, temp uh, air to minimum and now i'm going to flux already i applied i'm going to make the soldering melt and then we'll remove this connector from the circuit board and of course i protected the circuit board in aluminium foil so that the board will not have some harm, harm from the temperature which i'm going to provide by this hot air but this way this should come off it will take a little bit time to melt down the soldering i will check it for removal yeah so by this way i just peeled off as you can see so it removed and now is the time to fix the other one new digitizer this one uh, for the fixation of new board or uh, new panel what we have to do is we have to clean and solder so this uh, these pads we have to solder i will make soldering so that it will go to the board we'll apply some flux because without flux it will not do So what is my cloth any flux I'm going to provide over these pads so that they all will be tinned and will be soldered in a little better manner. So by this way, I cleaned it, soldered it, I mean, tinned it, and now this is ready to go. So here you can see, I just, uh, I just aligned this, this strip against the board and uh, soldered it using my soldering iron. Of course, a uh, small sized soldering iron is required. And uh, here, as you can see, over this way from the top even you can solder because these are the pads which are going down so they have been soldered now is the time for the fixation one other important thing which i just forget to show you is to remove this switch this is the switch on the front of the display or the synthesizer and i have to remove this one by this way we have to remove it and it will come off so it will go to the new unit or synthesizer but important thing is we have to solder this strip as this is the switch connection so we will remove this one from the existing one and will transfer it to the new unit as new unit you can see here this strip is so the switch will solder over here Now is the time to fix back everything. For this purpose, I have to fix the connector. Just place it on and gently press it down so that by this way you will put it in. And here, of course, I have to glue it up because there is a glue down side. And now I have to put on this uh, LCD display. So, the display connector, we are going to set it in. And then press it gently 
like this so this way it will be fixed and then afterwards now is the time to fix the small shield so by this way I will tie down all the three screws and the other shield also which is a big one of course as uh, we see while removing it then I will show you the result of the work so after fixing everything back you can see this uh, with a new synthesizer unit we are going to switch on run right now this uh, uh, this iPad so from here we have to switch it on you can see now it's switched on and uh, whatsoever we are going to do with this so we have to slide it uh, to unlock so slide unlocked and now we are going to put the password in uh, this is something three 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 four times now you can see the switched on and uh, we are going to switch it off now and it's working as you can see everything is working the new synthesizer fixed and this was what was our successful repair on this so we are going to switch it off and let us see so here we have to slide and then switch off so this was what was our repair on this particular iPad iPad mini thank you for watching keep on watching subscribe and like